I'm Lindsay. In the climate of the world today, it's really easy to get discouraged and frustrated and agitated, but I wanted to encourage us today that there is hope. But where do we find this hope? I found it in Romans chapter 15, verses 4 through 6, which says, For whatever was written in the past was written for our instruction, so that we may have hope through endurance and through the encouragement from the scriptures. Now may the God who gives endurance and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another, according to Christ Jesus, so that you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ with one mind and one voice. Our God is one who gives us both encouragement and endurance to face any situation. We don't have to muster it up ourselves or to rely on our own strength. He gives it to us. He's written examples in his word for us to follow. Examples of people who triumphed and examples of people who failed. Accounts of people who faced impossible situations and yet by their faith they prevailed. We've seen chains that were broken, mountains moved, the dead were raised back to life again. But these examples were given to us so that we might learn from them so that we might be able to find the strength to carry on and to endure even in the difficult situations, knowing that God will be as faithful now as he was then. Through the reading of his word is where we gain this hope in Jesus. It's not the end. He is in control. He has a perfect plan. In a time where it's easy to be divided, I pray that we can stand together and glorify God with one mind and one voice as we speak encouragement and hope to each other and to the world around us. I wanted to leave us with a prayer that's found in verse 13 of the same chapter. It says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you believe, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit.